Okay, we're all set up here with the new plasma table, and this is going to be the very, very first cut. And just for fun, why not just run this thing as wide open as you as you can? So I have an 85 amp tip in there, and I have it set for 600 inches a minute, uh, which is like really fast. And we're going to cut the entire length and width of the table to kind of get it a good workout. And we're just going to cut the edges of the table off or the sheet off, I should say, to, uh, and that way we've got to steal the rest of the sheet to work with and we've made some nice long straight cuts. So setting you up here and uh, we will get it fired off and see what she does. You know, why not uh, fire up your new brand new machine and run it just wide open in your very first cut? Now you probably saw the torch dragging there. And the reason that was happening was we uh, had not really fine tuned and calibrated our torch height control. And if you're a new uh, True Cut customer and you're just now getting your table to set up, I thought I'd just show this uh, as part of, you know, a, a really basic setup procedure that's pretty easy to do. Um, if you read the manual, it'll tell you that you should cut a small part out with THC turned off and you can see that is off there. Um, and what you wanna do is watch your actual voltage and you see this number here oscillating. That means you know it's active, it's, it's in real time, the plasma cutter's on, the table's on, so it's actually reading the arc voltage right now and it's, it's oscillating between zero and one volt. So if you, if you go over here to the processes tab, we're running 16 gauge sheet metal with a regular 45 amp tip. So we're gonna scroll down and pick that out of here. So 16 gauge, 45 amp tip. And that's gonna preset all of our uh, information here. And we know that the, the target voltage based on the book from Hypertherm is telling you that the arc voltage at the, at the cut height that you should be at uh, should be 130. And what we want to do is find out the, the true cut height. I'm just going to set this to 060. I'm not sure why it pre-populated that to that, but um, that might have been a leftover from where I just rebooted it. So I have a two-inch circle that I'm going to cut, and you might be able to see it in the screen there. And we're going to run that at, a, at 100 inches a minute. Let me adjust that. And uh, what we're going to actually watch, and I'm going to zoom in here, so the book on all these numbers is really just a reference, you know, a starting point. And what you want to do is fine tune it for your table. And now you see we're zoomed in on the uh, on the tip voltage or the arc voltage. So we're going to cut that out. You're going to hear it cutting in the background. What we're going to do is watch this and see what the actual is. Again, we have torch height control off. So and because it's a small part, torch height control really doesn't come into play on a really small part because it's you know the flatness of where you're cutting it at should be pretty consistent so we're gonna hit cycle start here and cut that out and again we're gonna watch the tip voltage right here all right you saw that it was uh, hovering around 120 or so 120 volts or so. So what we want to do is go ahead and set the voltage to about that. And then we can fine tune it from there as it's actually cutting. All right, and then we want to turn the torch height back on. So that is how you calibrate and adjust your torch height control based on arc voltage and the sensitivity of it. You can, uh, you know, change based on what you actually see. And it's something that you just kind of work on and dial in over time. Okay, so now we have a more reasonable uh, setup here. We've got some uh, 16 gauge hot rolled, same stuff we were using a second ago. But I got a 45 amp regular tip in it and we're gonna run this at 300 inches a minute. The book says 350, so we're running a little bit under that. 
um, but on the outside cut it's got some pretty tight cuts and things so it'll be fun to see how it handles this you know kind of running it way more wide open than I would on my old table so let's uh, cycle start it and see what it does.